Ace Money the name, getting paid by the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I mean, it's money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. Got our NBA, 13th November, big slate. Uh, you know, yesterday they started the Cup, a little in-season tournament. Today, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it is not the in-season tournament. So, huge slate, uh, quite a few back-to-backs, and, uh, you know, a lot of high lines, but... Uh, we got to wait for that. The third, uh, couple of days, Friday, I think, they have the next round of the in season tournament. And that'll be time to hammer some, some plays. But uh, I do have a lot of plays, actually, a lot of games. But uh, yeah, Matherin, points and rebounds over 23 and a half. Uh, Orlando, overall, first in points allowed. So uh, they've been playing some good defense, but uh, rebounds are around, allowed. They're ranked 11th. Shooting guard it does get better. Points allowed, rank 18th. Rebounds allowed, rank 17th. Matherin's cleared this four out of his last five. Uh, and five out of the last six. His minutes just went up last week. So before that, his minutes have been a lot lower, half this. So that's why the insight is wrong. But uh, shooting the ball real well, last five games, 47%. Uh, 15 attempts, so he's getting a decent amount of shots. Uh, rebounds, he's averaging seven. I added them together, it's just the numbers lined up pretty good besides just his points and with his rebounds. And he's got the opportunity to get more. Uh, yeah, so let's get it. Matherin points and rebounds over 23 and a half. All right, uh, Vukovic points and rebounds 26 and a half over uh, minus 113. Fandle playing the Knicks. Uh, cleared this four to the last five. Decided, you know, I was juggling between points and rebounds. Points, uh, he's exceeded 26 and a half PNR in 15 of his last 16, averaging 32. Uh, definitely capable of getting rebounds. Uh, you know, next guy, my Nickabark is they got a uh, cat. Carl uh, Anthony Towns is the center now. He's playing, playing the five and. Um, I think he's almost he's last besides uh, Giddy in uh, defense in the paint. Uh, you know he has been playing a little better, but I just think Vukovic is going to be able to score when he wants to. Cat uh, is good at rebounds and whatnot, as well as the Knicks are. You got Josh Hart flying around, but twenty six and a half. I think they got his points at 17, 18, 17 and a half. Yeah, I can get it at 16 and a half. We're going to change our play right here, right now. 16 and a half, Vukovic, points. Uh, game starts in 15 minutes. Yeah, we're just going to go with the points. He's going to get over, over 16 and a half. Let's get it. Played a couple of days ago. It was a good game. Uh, I think Brooklyn actually won. No, they lost, but it was close. 104, 108. Uh, decided to go with Pritchard. Points, 11 and a half. DraftKings minus 140. Other books like 160. So make sure you uh, get the best book that you can, the best line. Brooklyn points overall, rank 15th, the shooting guard, rank 11th, the shooting guard, right? Here. 
Uh, last game he was a little off. He's been doing real well, though. Uh, field goal, 55%, averaging six, three points. He's been smoking them three a game. His last five, averaging uh, eight attempts, 38%. Succeeded 12 and a half points, six of his last seven games on the road, averaging 16. Uh, I all lined it back to 11 and a half. Always all line it back if I can. Yes, yeah, so let's get it, Peyton Pritchard. Uh, I was going to go back to uh, to White. They got his line at eight and a half still for, uh, for RA. Rebounds and assists. Uh, then I was going to do his whole PRA. They got a decent number. Uh, I just decided to go with Pritchett, but I, I do think that White White's always a good play. And at eight and a half rebounds and assists, he's been smoking it too. But uh, yeah, I went with Pritchett. Eleven and a half points. Let's go. All right. So Washington is going into uh, San Antonio to play the Spurs. Spurs is a team I, I just started messing with. Uh, not I just started, but you know how when you're betting the certain teams you try to stick to, or it just happens that way for me. Uh, Spurs have been working out with a couple plays. Chris Paul, I'm doing pretty well with him. Uh, he did get me twice last week. But uh, I decided to go with his points, over, uh, three pointers over one and a half. Got a uh, FanDuel minus 125, DraftKings. I mean, various books, various numbers. As you see here, they got different numbers. I say this all the time. It might say two plus threes or over one and a half threes and say his name, or it might just have a list of names. You know what I mean? So make sure you look around. You get the lowest odds because as you see, it's minus 125, minus 136 on the same book. Uh, Minus 140, 145. Playing Washington, overall ranked 21st. Point guard ranked 15th. Oh, these are the two games he didn't hit. You know, Chris Paul's a little hit or miss, to tell you the truth. Uh, go to the whole year. He's smoked this a bunch of times. But there's some games he might not shoot the ball until after the halftime. It's crazy. Uh, they do have his point line pretty low. Succeeded one and a half threes in seven of his last nine games. Uh, as you see, he's basically only shooting threes. Six, seven attempts, 33%, averaging two. If I put it on points, so I'm comfortable with his points line. You got a nine and a half. You can all line it to eight and a half. Um, See, it's on threes right now. If I switch to the field goals, we got eight, six, six, seven, right? Five, six, four. So he's he's shooting a lot of threes. A couple other shots. Uh, if he gets to the foul line, he's definitely going over his points. But uh, I don't know. I just decided to go into threes today again. But uh, either way, points, threes. This threes is two shots. That's what I figured. He hits them two threes, it could be right away. All right, so let's get a CP3 all day, every day. All right, Julian Champagne. Been watching, you already know we've been playing him. Uh, four and a half rebounds. Minus 120, big variance again. Minus 120, FanDuel, all the way up to 155 on DraftKings. Playing Washington. Overall ranked 30th. Does get a little worse. Uh, 12th to the small forward. For the year, he's only missed this twice. He's cleared a 9 out of 11. Someday he just gets right over it. Other days he gets 2. Uh, his minutes, he's averaging 27. Stays out of foul trouble. Um, scores here and there, and I'm crazy. I did his points and, and rebounds once and screwed myself. Cleared the rebounds. He didn't get the points. Uh, he's exceeded five and a half in four of his last five games. Uh, I got it at four and a half. 
you could go. You want to go for Augusta? I'll do the five and a half, but plus one sixty. But uh, I'll take the four and a half. Uh, champagne. There was a few others for this game too. Uh, Wimby, Wimby Namba, whatever the hell his name is, he's been killing it with threes. I think they got his one and a half threes at plus money. Uh, yeah, then uh, Chris Paul's points. There's a couple, but uh, these are the two I like the best, so let's get it. Victorian Prince, uh, rebounds over three and a half. Wow, the odds just crazily changed. Uh, Portis is out. I just had a problem with the computer trying to get this uploaded and uh, yeah, it got screwed. Uh, we'll just move on to the next one. Portis just got rolled out, so the odds totally changed. Hopefully you got it in when I dropped it in the community. It's a play we've been playing. Well, I got you here. Hit that like button, viewers, subscribe. It was turning your notifications. This way you can get my plays, my live bets. Uh, I dropped all these plays in the community before I started making the videos. This way you get a head start. Next up, uh, Scotty Pippen Jr. Points and rebounds over 15 and a half. Cleared this nine out of 11. It's going way over it. Uh, head to head, 67%. Goes back to last year. Decent amount of minutes, 25. He's shooting 63% for the year, 33 from threes. So uh, he's playing the Lakers, rank uh, 23rd the points, 11th rebounds overall. To the point guard, they are got a little better defense, ranked fourth and tenth. It's probably why it's a little lower, but I uh, should be able to go over this. And then last up, I went under Tyus Jones under PRA twenty one and a half. I don't play on this too much. I'm trying to get the hang of it. Uh, I usually play under the guy who ends up going off. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but uh, KD's out. Uh, he runs point. This dude, Tyus, runs point anyway. Uh, he's only cleared this three times throughout the year. Sacramento, they're playing. Points allowed, ranked second, rebound second, assists 17th to the point guard position. Uh, overall, 19th, 11th, and 19th. 
I just think it's too high. He's going to have to have a hell of a game to go over it. Uh, yeah, so like I said, if you could like the video, new viewers, hit subscribe. And let's uh, turn on the notifications. This way you get all my plays, my live bets, anything I do. And uh, if you got a little extra time, if you could leave a comment, likes and comments, help get the videos out there. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you. Ace money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go.